of and Ms. Swink about the challenges of African-American females. And I think, uh, Ms. Swink, we uh, promised that we'd give you an opportunity to talk about your organization mm -hmm. and to sort of enlighten us in terms of what you're trying to accomplish and how successful you've been. And Ms. Uh, Love will follow that up and we'll end with uh, Ms. Greenlee and then we'll go into this final segment today. Okay. Um, well, with Synergy Life Coaching, it's really um, an empowerment movement. You know, there's so many people, it's not counseling, it's not therapy, it's more when you reach the, the edge and you just want to be able to fly, but maybe you need someone to say, you know, you can do it. Mm -hmm. That's, it's more of empowerment. So anyone who is looking to be empowered, that's what, you know, a life coach does. Mm -hmm. They just help you realize that there is beauty, there is worth, there is purpose, and there's love for mm -hmm. yourself. So that's pretty much what I'm Now, now where do you carry on this life coach activity? Is there an office associated with that? I, I mean, how does that go? Around? Well, a life coach is kind of a mobile mm -hmm. person. So I can meet you at the park. I can meet you, you know, um, at your home. I can meet you at my home. We mm -hmm. can Skype, email, even over the phone. Mm -hmm. So we do it like that. So, and so you have a multiplicity of methods whereby you might be able to get in touch with. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, Ms. Love, you talk about uh, beauty behind bars. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, elaborate upon that, this whole idea. Actually, the idea act came from Clemmie and I. We were on the phone one night, and I said, you know, there's something that we need to, to do. As a former Mrs. Tennessee, there's never been a Mrs. Tennessee reach out to women who have been incarcerated. Mm -hmm. And so I said, you know, we really need to do something very unique. So Clemmie and I came up with the name Beauty Behind Bars, mm -hmm. where we actually travel to prisons and jails, mm -hmm. teaching the women how to love themselves from the inside out, mm -hmm. also teaching them to take responsibility for the crime committed, mm -hmm. how to learn to love, um, and forgive because you have to have forgiveness to continue to move on mm -hmm. and then from there we teach a six weeks course where the women learn how to write about the pain experience mm -hmm. and how to express themselves after that we bring a beauty team that will give them a complete makeover mm -hmm. and after that they sort of participate in like a pageant where they're di able to display these skills learned within a six weeks course so it's basically teaching them once they are released from prison mm -hmm. that the ugly situation that brought them within the cell mm -hmm. they are now having beautiful destinations outside the cell mm -hmm. and that's uh, that really does a lot for self-esteem is uh -huh. and, and, and you can see that uh, with the women that you're working with is that true absolutely the women that we speak life into you'll be amazed the stories and walks of life that they come from their, their self-esteem is so low, but by the time you finish talking to them and explaining to them that you're there to not judge them, mm -hmm. but to prepare them for the outside world so that they can experience that love and a absolutely feed back into someone else. Mm -hmm. It's all about what you do for someone else full circle 360, and these women will be able to do that once they're released mm -hmm. from prison. Uh, Ms. Car uh, Ms. Greenlee, one thing that we've uh, always talked to you about was youth violence, and I think you came to us beginning with uh, youth violence. Let's talk about that uh, for the rest of this uh, period, and we'll see, see how that uh, figures out now. Well, uh, first of all, Dr. Haney, let me just say how honored I am to have these two blessed, lo lovely little women here on my team. I'm really honored, and I'm grateful that they came with me. Uh, you know, that was something that was brought to me through the death of my own son in 03. So I'm back on your show again because as of March the 19th, 2014, my 18-year-old nephew was uh, murdered. Uh, it is rude accidentally because him and his best friend was playing with the gun and the gun went off. But a gun is a gun, a bullet is a bullet, a murder is a murder. So I, you know, I want to quit pointing fingers at these young boys. I want to quit getting 50 years to life for these young boys. I want to educate and bring the awareness out here on the streets that these young boys are intelligent, they have dreams and they have visions, but if no one is willing to go to them and bring that out without worrying about their sagging pants, their tattoos, the gold in their mouth, mm -hmm. their dreadlocks, and worry about what they have here, then we're gonna always continue to lose our generation. So I'm always gonna be the one out there in the trenches, female or not. I know people have a problem because I'm the only female out there. Well, you, I tell them that I want 800 Jesus. He mm -hmm. the one put me out there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna keep continuing to, to work on my young black men. I got a 12 year old grandson. I am scared to death that I'm either gonna lose to the system or you lose to the graveyard. And if, and if I can help it, I'm not gonna do neither one because he's an A and B student. How many of these other young black males out here are A and B students, but we're losing them because we won't give time to find out what's mm -hmm. really going on with them. And before I even go any further with anything else to do with me, Miss Swink has an event coming up. 
that I think everybody should know mm -hmm. about. Uh, I've always been a we program, mm -hmm. never me. So it's not even about me and the show today. It's about what event you have coming up in June. Yes, we have the uh, Sun Cultural Festival as well as um, a small business expo, and it's a fundraiser for the Bethlehem Centers of Nashville. Mm -hmm. um, and we're excited to have Ms. Greenlee be a part of that with her peacemakers. And it's June 14th. Mm -hmm. um, it's at the Bethlehem Centers, which is 1417 Charlotte mm -hmm. Avenue, mm -hmm. 37203. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for just anybody to come out and just participate. We'll have mm -hmm. spoken word. We'll have uh, music. We'll have drumming. We'll have demonstrations. We'll have food. And it's family friendly and it's free to get in. So mm -hmm. we look forward to seeing everybody there. Ms. Love, what do you do at Logan's? I have been invited at certain events at Logan's. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We have our men's and women's conference. Once in a lifetime also has a uh, brother counterpart, which mm -hmm. is once in manhood, mm -hmm. where we teach men how to stand up and man up. And on June the 3rd, at Logan's at Rivergate mm -hmm. from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., we will be talking about self-motivation, having spiritual, mental, physical, and overall health, mm -hmm. learning how to take care of yourself and be the better you. Mm -hmm. And we are very ecstatic about the opportunity to share this with the community. It's free, and it's also a way that we get the word out about our mentoring program through um, our anti-bullying program, mm -hmm. Stand Up and Man Up Against Bullying. Nashville Peacemaker will be having 4th of July 8th annual picnic mm -hmm. in the Unity community mm -hmm. uh, for Let's End the Violence mm -hmm. at Hatley Park. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking everybody to come out and attend that because mm -hmm. we're going to keep doing no matter what mm -hmm. and who do not support us. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep staying out in the trenches. Now you've been in, at Hatley over the last minute. You've been at Hatley with this program on a number of occasions. And yes. You've had quite a bit of success. Yes. Uh, this year I'm hopefully bringing in the boxing ring. I'm going to mm -hmm. sit out of boxing mm -hmm. ring outside. So if I think if I can stop the bullets and bring in the gloves, mm -hmm. then we might have some people to get up out of the ring because that bullet going to stop you. Mm -hmm. If I knock you out, you're just going to be laid out for mm -hmm. a minute, but you'll mm -hmm. snap out of it. <laughs> so we're going to do something different this year. Always Please trying come to find out. some way that you might be able to reach out into the community. Yes, and sir. Do great thing. Yes, Is that sir. what we're saying? Yes, sir. Very good. And, and, and so what we're doing, we'll get, we'll get ready for our final segment here, this last 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, and then we'll give all three of you an opportunity to simply talk about the things that you wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. You said that once, if you got in front of this camera today, this is what I want to talk mm -hmm. about. And mm -hmm. so this will be the last 10 minutes for uh, you to do uh, those things. And we'll be back mm -hmm. with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. 